Welcome to BCH Technologies. This is Kevin. Today we talk about uh, the back chamber refill method for XL cartridges. Uh, for the XL cartridges, uh, you can see the back chamber is full of ink, and uh, it serves as a supply tank for to the front chamber. It works exactly like a pad water dispenser, which the back chamber is a sealed tank of ink, and uh, it has a really small opening um, at the bottom, so the ink will flow to the front chamber if there are any ink consumed at the front chamber. If the dog or your printer didn't consume any ink, it will have a, a little bit of ink in the front, but it holds the majority of the ink in the back. Uh, we use a 902 cartridge as an example. Uh, those are uh, uh, 902 XL cartridge, which we bought from eBay. And we cut one open, and you can see it's completely dry. And uh, I'm trying to show you this is a small opening on the bottom. We got this about a, a dollar a cartridge. Uh, there's no much special tool required. Uh, we just use two of them and uh, you don't have to use them, it's optional. One is uh, those uh, little silicon washer. Uh, another one is uh, the, uh, the clips. Uh, silicon washer just give you a better seal around the ink intake, so you are confident that ink is not going to leak. Um, if you refill correctly, your cartridge shouldn't leak ink at all. So, <clears throat> so this is just a uh, precaution. I, I like to install uh, the silicon washers just for peace of mind. Uh, you just have a shorter side towards you, longer side towards the printer, and then lay, down, lay on top of it. Uh, if you need a, a, a set of washers, you can go to uh, bchtechnologies.com and go to accessories and uh, elbow and the washers. And it's, there's a five piece silicon washer. We're going to drill a hole in the back chamber. If you remember our pad dispenser, a water dispenser analogy. We're going to have a big hole on the water tank. So what happens is the ink is going to flow out. Uh, so to make it less messy, uh, we have this uh, protective clip. Again, I said the bchtechnologies.com and go to accessories and uh, protective clip. I call it the poor man's 564 review kit. Uh, because the clip is made for multiple models, so it's pretty tight for 902. And uh, so you have to push it harder to get it in. Again, you don't need to have this. Uh, let me show you, you can do the same thing with duct tape. Now I start peeling off the label and expose the refill hole. Uh, notice I don't peel the label all the way so I can know which color it, it is. If you peel the label off, it's pretty hard for you to tell which color it is. Uh, I'm going to use a larger drill and also a smaller drill uh, to push the, the ball inside. And also we're going to try uh, somebody recommended uh, using a lighter and a, a paper clip.
Now we'll just get a whole lab bit rounder and uh, remove the debris. Uh, now with a smaller drill. Uh, now we uh, try the uh, uh, people suggest they using a paper clip and a cigarette lighter. The goal is actually fishing the the ball out, so you can use the ball as a, a plug. So you don't need a plug later. And eventually, I, would, would, I mean, we just don't like it. Uh, but but you can see uh, how it's done. Uh, the paper clip is too soft to poke it out, so you need uh, something uh, harder uh, to to poke it out. Uh, for the plugs, you can go to accessories and the plug. Uh, the two plugs that works is a four millimeter plugs. Uh, so what you want to get is you want to get this uh, clear plug, which is four uh, four millimeters, and or you want to get uh, those color four millimeters uh, plugs. Both of them works. Uh, I. I don't recommend this green plug, which is three three millimeters. It's a little bit small. Again, you don't really need a plug. You can uh, try the reinsert the ball, uh, or you can try the hot glue, uh, or like a, some some kind of a thing to seal it. And later, we actually we're going to show you how to use a duct tape seal. It. Uh, now we can start fi fill it with the ink. Uh, we use the ink uh, from uh, Refill Ink, Refill Ink for HP, and uh, then we click uh, 120 mil here. Uh, we use this uh, ID30 KCMYAH, uh, which has a four bottle of ink and uh, and a drill. We'll fill it all the way to the rim. Uh, we'll we'll seal with a three uh, millimeter plug, which is not, we are not recommended, and uh, we'll, we'll show you what's uh, what's going to happen. Uh, this printer is a pigment printer, so uh, whatever left uh, in the cartridge is dried pigment ink. We directly add a dye ink on it, so we convert it to a dye printer. And uh, uh, this is not uh, the best way. The best way is actually add a, add a dye ink or add water and uh, to uh, wash out, to, to flush out the dried pigment. Then you add the dye ink to it. We're going to have another video show you how to flush out the printer. but. Uh, uh, but we, we sometimes when we're in a hurry, we just do it this way and do the do the unclogging if it's clogged. Uh, we're showing a different method to seal the cartridge. We have a three millimeter and a four millimeter uh, clear and uh, the four millimeter color one. And for the black, we're going to seal with a duct, piece of duct tape.
Now uh, the whole cartridge is uh, filled to the rim, and uh, we remove the seal on the bottom. Okay, if you refill correctly, uh, you should not have ink flowing out. And uh, if you see the ink flowing out like a faucet, then you have a problem. You may have uh, like a couple ink drops, but not uh, like a but not but not uh, a lot. Uh, this just, just this just show you. So we remove the clip, and uh, we just set it on the top of the printer and with a uh, white paper towel underneath. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, the blue is going to leak because I only have got a three millimeter plugs. Okay. This is what the people complain as they complain that after they refill, the ink just keep flowing out. Okay, the others should be fine. And we sat there for uh, 20 minutes. If you want to flush your cartridge, uh, flush the dried pigment out, what you can do is you can add water or ink and uh, then, uh, then unplug the top. Okay, fill it up, unplug the top, and uh, let, the, the, uh, let the cartridge drip like this. Okay. Uh, BCH has a clear ink base, which is the ink without color. Uh, for example, if you want to switch to dye ink, you can buy dye ink base, and you can add the dye ink base to the cartridge and uh, fl uh, flush the pigment out. Uh, 20 minutes later, this will happen. See the two 4mm plugs uh, seal really well, and the duct tape seal really well, but not this green plug. Now we switch the plug to uh, four millimeter, and uh, we're ready to put it back to the printer. Uh, remember to turn the chip info off, and also do two consecutive uh, cleanings, and uh, uh, before you use the printer, uh, if the printer is clogged. And do two or three cleanings, then waste two, wait two hours. And uh, if after two hours, uh, do another cleaning. And if uh, the printer is still clogged, you might want to watch our unclogging video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Have a good day. Cheers.